Okay, thank you. <clears throat> this is called, I Can't Resist. I can't resist feeding my dog from the table. I can't resist feeding my dog from the table. But over the years, I have disciplined myself to pacify her begging with less and less interesting food. <laughs> I tell myself I don't want to make her fat. But in truth, I resent her exhibiting a taste in fine food similar to my own. <laughs> and it has become a question of value. What I give away, especially to my dog, should naturally be of lesser value than what I eat myself. Or what I give away or what I offer responsibly and systematically to my guests, whose company I seek out, who, in fact, I must cajole to take the gifts I offer, the quality food, which I eagerly proffer as an extension of my private life, as far as it is represented by my taste. What I am doing for my dog is ensuring her an ever-decreasing satisfaction with the products of her begging. <laughs> I withhold from her the valuable and essential morsels which I reserve for use in a sort of reverse begging in which I want to be seen as giving gladly of my possessions to my friends who have proven their value to me by being reluctant to take them. <laughs> 